we see all those colors. Now, when we make color photos uh, by Hubble or the James Webb Telescope, in the infrared part of the spectrum, you can't see colors in the infrared part of the spectrum. So you know what we do? We take RGB, slap it onto different wavelengths in the infrared part of the spectrum, and create a color photograph out of it. That's what you would see if our sight was shifted to the infrared part of the spectrum. It's what the world would look like. So the infrared part of the spectrum, is it neutral in color? You can't detect it at all. But if we evolved to see it, there's no reason to think our brain wouldn't assign colors to it. That's what's going on here. We're assigning colors. In fact, Richard Dawkins, the evolutionary biologist, thinks that bats actually, when they echolocate, they see in color because their mammal brain has that capacity. So why not use it? So, if, so when you're using echolocation, tag it. it with a color. So if we orbited, a, if we orbited a blue star, we'd still have. Would we still have clear skies? In other words, every if we, sky. If, if our eyes evolved in this star, and then transport us to a blue star, right? Then we would not see colors in the blue because we can only see colors in the visible part of the spectrum. There'd be blue and ultra, uh, violet, ultraviolet. Mm -hmm. We only see colors in the visible part of the spectrum. However, you can fake it, authentically fake it. That's called the perfect Instagram filter, right? <laughs> so going in that direction, we have violet. Take three bands in violet light that are adjacent to one another. Then once you do that, you, you assign RGB, bring them back together, and you can reconstruct what you would see if our sensitivity were shifted to the violet and ultraviolet part of the spectrum, to the blue part of the spectrum. So it, we should think of it as shifted color, is what it is. But we're only limited in how much we can, our ability to shift. We're very limited.